What? No, Ian. <laughs> you crumpet munching ninny. I did not say I'm going to see the king. Because unlike your the old gift shop of a country, we don't have a royal family. I said I'm going to see the kings. The kings. Yeah. I called you a crumpet munching ninny. So? You wanted to know I wanted to see you, and I'll tell you, but I just can't hand over my life to you in the hope, no offense, that you have this all under control. I only asked you why you came to see me today and what you hope to get out of it. Oh, okay. Um, I'm here because my friend Jess thinks I should be. <laughs> I've been making her listen to my problems lately and for a while, and I guess... But you came on your own. She didn't make you. Why, why today? What made you decide to be here? I came here today because you said you had an opening this afternoon. Is this some kind of shrimp trick? No tricks, just a question. I'm here because... I need help. Marcus, I do not feel like a hot punk rocker chick, okay? I feel like a Fordley housewife playing dress up. Probably because I am a Forley housewife playing dress up. <sighs> Let's go home. He comes dragging home in clothes that haven't been washed in weeks. And his aged parents bail him out. They draw his bath, they wash his clothes, and they barbecue up prime rib. <laughs> and you know how the good son felt when he came in from the fields? Seeing his brother getting the ticker tape parade? What am I? Ground Chuck? <laughs> the good son bided his time. And then he went to the cops in the foreign land and turned his sorry brother in. Collected the reward money and invested it. And then he took over his parents' corporation and sent them to a nice, clean nursing home that has arts therapy. And when the prodigal son was finally released from the Huskow, the prodigal son had to beg in the marketplace until the prodigal son died. And the good son? danced and danced 